the rainbow machine. The children were playing in the garden, although it was a rainy. The sun was a shining at the same time. The children looked up and saw a rainbow across the sky. Look, what a beautiful rainbow, told the beef excitedly. I wonder where the rainbow begins, asked the William, and where it ends. In a place far away, there was a lorry. It was a very big lorry. There was a big machine at the back. The machine made the rainbows and was called the rainbow machine. There are seven colors in the rainbow. It took seven people to look after the rainbow machine. They were the rainbow makers. They had to clean and polish the machine. They had to make sure it worked properly. It was a hard work, but they liked their job. The rainbow machine had to be ready at any time. Sometimes weeks and weeks would go by and a rainbow was not needed. However, when the cold comes, the rainbow makers will have to work fast. The rainbow has to be ready immediately. It was a one of those days a rainbow was needed quickly. Off they went in the lorry while it was going along. The rainbow makers got the machine ready, then one, two, three, go. They pressed the button and the rainbow shoot out of the machine. When there was a rainbow, everyone would stop whatever they were doing and look at it. Children would, children would run to their moms and dads and say, What a beautiful rainbow! Sometimes the rainbow was very bright, but sometimes it was quite pale. Sometimes the rainbow would appear for a long time, but sometimes it was there for just a short while. Often the children ran towards it. They wanted to find the end of it and play in all the colors, but of course they never could. One of the rainbow makers was a young man called Fred. He was new and he was learning to be a rainbow maker. One day the other rainbow makers parked the lorry on the side of a road and got off. They said, look after the road, lorry Fred, we are going to get some lunch, we want to be long. The lorry was on a double yellow line, a traffic Word was a coming. Oh no, thought to the Fred. It was illegal to park the lorry on a double yellow line. I must move the rainbow machine, said the Fred. So he climbed into the driver's seat and drove away. Fred drove the lorry along the road. This is a fun, he said, but I'd better not be too long. He needed to go back to pick up the other rainbow makers. He drove into a field to turn the lorry around. Oh no, the lorry got stuck in the mud. Fred stepped on the brake pedal. The wheels spun round and round and the lorry sank even deeper. Now what shall I do? Thought to the Fred. Suddenly, a door appeared in the middle of the field. Beef and Chip came through it with William, Nick, and Anna. Beef had a magic key in her hand. A new adventure had begun. The children saw the lorry. I wonder what the lorry is doing in the field, asked Chip. I think it's a stop, said Beef. Then they saw Fred waving at them. Can you help me? Called Fred, will you push the lorry? The children pushed it and pushed it, but it mm -hmm. was a no good. The lorry was a too big, and it was a far too heavy. It refused to budge it. I don't like all the mud on my clothes, moaned the Anna. Suddenly, it began to rain, although the sun was shining. 
On the lorry, things began to buzz and flash. Oh no, said Fred, a rainbow is needed. This is the rainbow machine. It makes rainbows. You must all help me. The children waited for Fred's instructions. The children helped Fred pull the cover off the rainbow machine. Wow, said Biff. Is that where rainbows come from? Yes, said Fred. But I don't know how to work the computer yet. I'm new. The other rainbow makers are having their lunch. Nick was good with the computers. He looked at the rainbow keyboard. He did not really know what to do. But he did not like to tell Fred it would just frighten him even more. Don't worry, he said. Let me give it a try, said Fred. One, two, three. The rainbow machine sent up a rainbow. Hooray, it's working, said William. The children were standing too close to the rainbow and it was too bright for them to see properly, so Fred gave everyone some dark glasses. The children looked up at the rainbow they had made. It did not look quite right. Fred called to Nick, Are you sure you can use the computer? I gave him my best effort, answered Nick nervously. The rainbow did not look right. Sometimes had gone wrong. First, it went straight up, then it went straight along, and then it went straight down. Oh dear, gasped Anna. It's got straight sides. The rainbow looked very strange. Everyone stopped to look at the rainbow. Children ran to their moms and dads. What a funny rainbow, they said. It's got straight sides. We've never seen a rainbow like it before. This isn't right, said the moms and dads. They were worried. The rainbow makers were having lunch. Everyone at the restaurant was staring at the sky. They looked out of the window. Oh no, said the rainbow makers. What has Fred done? He's made a freezy rainbow. They gulped down their tea and ran out ran out into the road, but the rainbow machine had gone. Oh no, said the rainbow makers. Where has a Fred gone? In the sky was a broken rainbow. What a funny rainbow, everyone said. We must find a Fred at once, said the rainbow makers. The rainbow changed again this time. It was a twisted and it was a very bright. I like that one, said a little boy to his grandpa. It looks wonderful. I like it too, said the grandpa. It looks like a lollipop. We must find the rainbow machine, called the rainbow makers. They look up at the sky. The rainbow had changed again. It was too hard to believe. Oh no, said one of them. I don't want to look anymore. Back at the rainbow machine, things were getting out of control. Nick had been too clever. The rainbow was leaking and all the red was running out. It was a dying the sky like red paint poured into water. The sky was turning red, even the clouds became red. Oh no, said Nick. I can't stop the red to turn the rainbow machine off. Fred turned the pail. I can't turn it off, he said. I don't know how. The rainbow makers found the lorry. They were crossed with Fred. I'll take this to make the sky blue again, they said. The children looked up at the sky. Nick felt terrible. The rainbow makers had to bleach the sky. We never done this before, said one of the rainbow makers. I hope it works. The rainbow machine shot a beam of bright white light into the red sky. The sky turned white. 
the sun was not yellow anymore. It became white. It's a lot better than a red sky, said one of the rainbow makers. A red sky makes everyone have a temper. Everyone looked at the white sky. It was not as good as a blue sky, but it was better than a red one. We are very sorry, said Nick. It was all my fault. Please don't blame Fred. It's all right, said the rainbow makers. The sky will soon turn blue again. Suddenly, the magic began to glow. It was time to go. The sky was blue and the sun was shining. It was a bright yellow sun. A rainbow isn't really made like that, is it? asked the keeper. You better go to the end of one and find out, said Anna. The children were glad to see a blue sky again.